Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, and I'm I, the explosive one, and we're going to start the timer. Heck yeah, TNT. Yo. So we all we all know about Florida Man. Florida Man, you Florida know, like, Man. That's, that's a, a trope in the news that everyone in Florida is insane and does all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah. So, and I know you have, have, have lived in Florida for a little <laughs> okay, bit. Okay, so what are you trying to say? So before, <laughs> I guess... You know, what did you think of Florida before you lived there? And when you went there, did it, did it, was it, did it meet your expectations or was it like different than you thought it would be? Because you hear a lot of crazy stuff about Florida. Every weird news story is, tends to be from okay, Florida. Okay. I guess I have to preface this by saying is that we are from like, uh, what is that, the Midwest? North? Yeah, Ohio's the Midwest, technically, okay. yeah. So we're technically from the Midwest, Great Lakes states. Um, so when I moved to Florida, I say the biggest culture shock I got was from the the fauna, the wildlife more than anything else. Oh, like, not the people? Yeah, not really the people. I mean, and uh, yeah, I guess there's people are different. Okay. So <laughs> the fauna was the biggest culture shock. The people was just like, yo, why are you acting like this, fam? Southern hospitality is a thing. Though I feel like it's fake. I feel like Southern hospitality is just like out of like tradition more than it's out of like. But I feel Texas doesn't have Southern hospitality. I see. And I feel. I don't know. Because when I went to Tennessee one time, I went to the corner store to get like some beer. And the girl's like, hey, honey, welcome to the store. Yeah, honey, sugar. Here's how you're going to drink that beer. You're going to have a good old time. And that's not how Texas. People are nice, but not like that. She was like, she was like trying to like. Uh, fillet me with words essentially when yeah. I walked in like are it's, they like that in Florida to a degree yes um I say is that that's more of like a big city mentality bleeding into like their actual culture but a lot of like if you go to smaller towns with less money in them like if we weren't in Austin Texas like the capital of freaking Texas dude then it'd be a little bit different well yeah because this is the only like blue part of Texas anyway yeah yeah that's it's, a little, it's a lot different outside of Austin that part I hear too. yeah but I do feel like is that uh, at least like because I lived in New York prior, <laughs> I feel like it's a lot nicer uh, in the people are a lot nicer in the South than they are in, in New York. <laughs> but I don't know if that's because of uh, the Southern hospitality or not. Well, my ex-wife was from the South. She grew up in like Arkansas, Tennessee, uh, she, Mississippi. She's got it deep. And when in her. she came to Ohio, she asked me all the time, like. She's like, is that person being an asshole, or is that just how people are up here? And, and I, and I'd have to be like, no, no, he was being, he, he was, be, he was being a dick. And she's like, oh, okay, because she just thought everybody was being a dick. Like oh, we yeah. actually clashed a lot when we first met and started because, like, I am a lot more abrasive than people she was used to from being from Ohio, <laughs> and I'm not even that abrasive compared to a lot of people up north. Okay. Like, you know, like I know that I can be abrasive. But I've, I've, but like, that's just, it's not a brace. It's more just blunt, dude. Like, people up north are just way more blunt about stuff than people down south are. Yeah. Like, if you're just like, this sucks. Like, up north, you're like, this is stupid. Like, that's just what you, you just, <laughs> and everyone down here is like, oh, no, it could, you know, we could have been a better time, but, you know, bless his heart. He tried. <laughs> like, no, dude. Like, it sucked. Like, you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to blame that on on uh, on the North versus South. <laughs> I think that's more just an Astrobula. <laughs> that's a Bulean way of a taking Bulean through. way of life. Yeah, yeah. Of one thousand Bulean nights. Yeah, I've, I've I, honestly, I feel like I've lived in a lot of places. I think that's a Bula a Bula mentality. I've been called out on it too because I tend to be that way as well. Yeah, and I don't even do it's not even on person. I'm trying to be a D. Yeah. You know, like yeah. well, I can't help that you're a snowflake. Be true to yourself. And I'm not even a, a I'm oh, not right. I try to be like cognizant of like that if someone could be offended by what I'm saying. I try to be most of the time. <laughs> but man, dude, you know, <laughs> what sort of wildlife? What was what you said the wildlife was weird? Yeah, so there's like when I went to Florida, obviously alligators. Uh Do you saw, see them? Like right I saw around? one. I saw one. Like in your parking lot, your apartment? No, no, no. I saw uh, me and the uh the lady at the time, we went to like an alligator sanctuary and they were Oh, that'd like, be cool. Those yeah. dudes are normal. Oh, yeah, see, exactly. And that's another thing. Like, is it really the wildlife or the people that are handling the wildlife that are, you know? Yeah. Um, peacocks. I saw peacocks attack a car. That was funny. Oh, interesting. Um, armadillos. 
Yeah, there's there's supposedly a park here that has wild peacocks in it in you Austin. Know, yeah. I want to go check them out. Yeah, you want to get pecked to death, apparently. <laughs> I do. I want to take their picture, to be honest. <laughs> they're they're beautiful creatures. They're all so vicious. I want to get them all riled up, and as they charge me, take pictures of them with their beak open yeah. and their wild teeth. They, they, you know, they just try to they just try to intimidate. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. They, I'll be scared. I'll act scared for them. <laughs> I'll act scared for you, peacock. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Just let me take a picture. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So yeah, dolphins, manatees. Uh, yeah, dude. Now, crazy. See, you told me that, and I thought that was cool. That like there was just like dolphins chilling in the. So yeah, I remember I would drive to work, and I would take the freeway, and the freeway went over. Like I lived on an island, small island, not a rich island, but I lived on an island to get to the mainland of Florida. We would, I'd have to travel right over the ocean, and but to see dolphins like doing jumps in the water, it was great. That's it, pretty cool. It I, is pretty cool. I remember I went with my ex-girlfriend. She's down from like right on the border of Texas in the Gulf. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, you can use this dolphin boat tour. And I was like, we can go do the dolphin boat tour. And she's like, yeah, they're just dolphins. What are you so? No, and fam. I'm like, wait a second. You can house it. <laughs> exactly. I, yes. I was losing my mind. And yeah. she told she even like told her friend. She's like, he's excited about the dolphins. And she's like, Pfft. Whatever, and I'm like, no, I turn into a 12 year old girl when you talk about dolphins. <laughs> like for real, dolphins? <laughs> like a real dolphin? <laughs> dude, you know what I liked about Texas when I came here? Wild lizards, dude. Because they're like uh, the most. They're like, they're never okay. They're not gonna hurt you. They no. can't bite you. They, they aren't can. like they aren't spiders. They're, it's not anything like that. They're just like, and if like you, they're harmless. They're relatively. It can bite you. Don't don't think that just because a thing has teeth, it can bite. I mean, yeah, but it's not gonna like if you don't f with it or like. They're so it. scared of you. Like, yeah. you, I mean, they they'll pr- they'll pump out their pink throat neck. I've never seen. You've that. never seen them do that. <laughs> they, they tilt their head up and they make their throat all big and it gets pink and they like breathe in and out. It's how they intimidate other lizards. Like a nut sack? Kind of, okay. but like because they're green and white, right? Yeah, are you sure you're I mean, not they looking do, at a they penis? Do, they do camouflage. But when I first moved here, my ex-wife smoked, and I would always go and sit on the patio with her while she smoked, and like I would see him like on the railing of the apartment. Mm-hmm. And when and that's how they scare each other. Like one would see the other one and he'd like tilt his head back and start like pumping his neck out, and it gets all pink as they blow it out. Ugh. It's like they're threatening. It's almost like a peacock, but like Ugh. and then they like run away. And that's it. It was Ugh. but I do like lizards. They run all funny, they're just like what do you so not like gross. them? They're gross, dude. They're like little. Fr- they're like uh, what do you call it? Reptile roaches. Yeah, but you know what? I think bees are gross. So I feel you. You think bees are? Gross? I think bees are gross. Bees? Bees are gross. Bees. Yeah. Honey bees. Wasps. Gross. Bees. Gro- I've never heard the term "gross" they're used to, attri- to attribute it to a bee. There. I've never heard anyone say a lizard was gross. So we're you? L- no, no. Lizards are kind of gross. Bees are gross, dude. They're like all oh, shape funny. They got a death no. stinger. They're gonna put it in you. All right, dude. look. They're F like, bees, but gross is a little like bees aren't like they're spreading gross. grossness. They got honey on them and stuff. They got, don't have honey. They have pollen they're on. They're aggressive, bro. They are. They're, they're assholes. I'll give you I that. Hate bees, I dude. don't. I'm not a fan of bees. I'm not. Here to like, Say I'm not a bee cool. activist, all right? I'm not a bee, a bee activist. <laughs> I'm not. I'm saying is that I don't know if they're gross. Mm. Like, when I say gross, I mean like lizards like eat bugs. Wow, which is helpful, and, right? And bees are bugs, I guess. I want to see a lizard fight a bee, but <laughs> bees aren't invasive. Like, I've never found like a bee in the house, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta get this thing out of here. I'm like, I, f- I found this thing, I gotta kill it. You know, I find a lizard in my house, I don't want to kill a lizard in my house. I yeah. don't. I don't want to kill it. It'll I, get out, dude. No, I don't. I don't want it in the house, though. Oh, I've never had one in the house. I, well, you, 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 okay, you didn't live in Florida, all right? Yeah, well, in Florida, they got all sorts of weird stuff, dude. They do. Oh, yeah, palmettos. Screw those, too. Those giant roaches that dude, fly, man. dude. They man. fly around, dude. I've never seen one fly. Thank you, Jesus. Clap my hands, knock on wood. You, cause that, you probably would be scared of that. But I remember my first time seeing one is i'm oh my god it was the party from hell it was a co-worker's party and everybody got too drunk and couldn't handle it and there's a boyfriend or girlfriend fighting she ended up urinating on herself while we were driving on the oh freeway going 140 miles an hour on a freeway in a four-door with eight people in it why who was driving including my big black ass why were why were wait who was driving it was, the, it was the party from hell it's a whole nother story maybe i'll tell that one day but not today but <laughs> the I've first never, time I, I don't think I've ever went 140 in a it, car. Fam, I was ready to pass. I was ready to die. I had already accepted death. And this is why to this day 
I think that may have had a, a, a changing moment in my life because I was like, you know what? If I die today, I'll be all right. I was like, it's fine. Everybody else is in the car freaking out. Anyway, that was the first time I ever saw Paul Meadow. <laughs> we were at the gas station after a girl had peed on herself. <laughs> <laughs> My. And I noticed this giant cockroach crawling on the side of his car while a bunch of us are just standing. It was like a bunch of the guys are just like, yeah, she tripping. Oh, and my <laughs> God. All right. On that note, that's all the time we have for this episode. It was disgusting. That's what I was getting at. It sounds like it. Go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Oh, uh, we out.